I do feel it is related to another person, but it's affecting you on a, a mental level and on an emotional level as well. There is a, an ability from your end to detach from this situation. So uh, what I am sensing here is that a lot of people around you might be facing like a little bit of uh, difficulties in their life. And as a result, you are kind of like caught up in it, okay? You are showing up here in the reverse position too. So once again, I do feel that um, it is a little bit destabilizing. But I do sense at the same time, because we have the magician in the reverse position, this situation is almost like out of your control. And in a way, it's related to another person. So it doesn't really have direct bearing on your life. However, you're going to be like bogged down with it because the other person might be coming to you to ask for, you know, advice and things like that. Mainly, I'm sensing here that this is something that is happening to somebody external from, from outside of yourself, okay? Mainly because we have the Six of Wands here and uh, the Six of Wands also indicate, you know, general success, um, getting the accolades that you deserve getting the recognition and also getting that new lease on life almost. So I feel that life is going to be okay for you. So this external energy that is affecting you is um, it's something that is outside of yourself that is going to affect somebody else and that person might be very near and dear to you. So as a result, you're kind of like um, caught up in it, okay? And what you decide to do is up to you, but I do feel that um, in general, there is a sense of letting go. There is a sense of like, um, you know, this is a seizing the end of battle, the end of conflict and the end of arguments. OK, so in the past, if this is a situation that has been ongoing with another person, you know, and I am sensing here greatly, it could be related to a water sign like a cancer, Pisces or Scorpio or a fire sign like an uh, Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and um, in general this could be on the work front if it's with a Leo I do feel that it is going to be on the if it's with a Leo or if it's with a fire sign I do feel it is going to be more on the work front if it's with the water sign it could be more on the emotional front okay so it could be like a family situation and I do feel that it could potentially be somebody that you are um, in a close interpersonal relationship with somebody that you're very emotionally invested in and it could also be somebody that you're living with for a lot of you it could be somebody that you are in a any type of a relationship in which you're living together it could be family or you know roommates and uh, as well so just keep in mind that once again this is something that is outside of your soul so it's outside of your control okay and um it is going to be a little bit destabilizing, like I mentioned. However, this is also a card of, you know, freedom from bondage. This is like letting go. I do sense at the same time with the moon in the reverse position, a lot of clarity, a lot of insights, a lot of truths will surface for this month about the people that you're interacting with, okay? You're going to start to see people's true colors. So I do feel that in the past, you might have... Um, I wouldn't say you were naive, okay, because um, I do feel that deep down, you know what people are about and you are pretty much, you know, live and let live. So even though some people around you that, that you interact with and you are emotionally invested in, even if they exhibit qualities that are not entirely admirable, you still give them the time of day, mainly because you want them to change on their own accord and you feel that, you know, everyone should be given a chance and you shouldn't ostracize or you shouldn't like, um, you shouldn't like, um, segregate yourself from other people because, you know, we're all living the human experience and it is always, um, right, the right thing to do to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. However, a lot of that is going to end for this month. Mainly because um, I do feel like there are some obstacles that are coming into the picture to reveal to you other people's true colors and their true intentions, okay? And their, even their ulterior motives. And as a result of that, it's sort of like um, coming in from the left field 
And it's so blatant that you have no choice but to embrace the fact that, you know, okay, maybe they're not the best people in the world and maybe you should just, you know, um, maybe people just don't change. So you at this point, you're feeling that, okay, uh, you know, I, I've, I've done my, my cause for humanity. Uh, I've done, you know, I've done the right thing by incorporating them into my life or I, I've given them the benefit of the doubt. I've given people multiple chances. But if this is a, a type of behavior that they themselves don't feel it's a problem, then you're not going to be a part of it. Because in the process of, you know, giving them opportunities, giving them second chances and things like that, or not calling them out on their behavior, you're feeling as if you're kind of losing out mainly because you are emotionally invested and it is in a way affecting you at this point, okay? So it's sort of like somewhat of an enabling behavior that um, allows the other person to not see the, the errors in their way. And at this point, this month, uh, things might be a little bit jarring, mainly because we have the tower. And the tower speaks about, you know, a, a drastic change in your perspective, in your paradigm, in your framework, in the way that you look at the world, okay? And it is people-oriented because um, all the cards surrounding it is mainly about conflict, it's mainly about emotional turmoil, it's about mental anguish as well, all in the reverse position, okay? So at this point, this situation I, I already mentioned, it is out of your control. Um, the other party is contributing to their own detriment, okay? And you, you're, you're sort of like uh, looking at this in kind of like slow motion. I mentioned this for... Um, a Scorpio video before it's sort of like you're you know that their behavior is not acceptable but in the past you never spoke out about it okay and there's nothing that um, you know people have their f own free will and even if you had spoken out in the past I, I doubt that it would change much okay because it does take a tower situation for people to really re-examine their their um, their lives and to re-examine how their actions affect others, okay? So this is um, a situation where somebody else's um, actions, somebody else's words, somebody else's lifestyle is um, affecting them negatively and as a result you are emotionally invested in them. So in the process you're kind of like caught up in it. However, the cards surrounding them are in the reverse position. The cards surrounding this situation are in the reverse position so it's not going to have that much bearing on you so don't let it okay um, I feel that this news is coming in from somebody that you've had multiple run-ins with it could potentially be like a Pisces if you're dealing with a Pisces in particular or another water sign or um, in an interpersonal type of relationship like friendship even you know exes um, people that you're living with people that you are in close proximity with okay and I am saying that this is somebody from your past, mainly because in the past, interactions between you and that other person was not pleasant, okay? And you're overcoming it because it's showing up in the reverse position here. And you're not letting it affect you on an emotional level. So this situation is coming up once again for you to just remind yourself why they are out of your life to begin with and why you really have to let it go, okay? So... I know you want to be helpful and you want to, you know, be the um, the source of comfort and strength for another person. But I do feel that um, if you keep doing that, you are going to get caught up in other people's life lessons. And that's never a good thing. OK, so um, in general, just just let it go. You, you are bound to very negative energy here and you are bound to people, especially um people that you've had a long history with and sometimes you know when you are too like emotionally invested when we are too like um when we've known somebody for a really long time or when when we've like grown up with that person when we've known them for a long period of time it's difficult to be objective okay so what this is coming in once again is for this month your sense of objectivity is going to be completely heightened, okay? And um, you're going to have to cut some people out of your life, okay? It, it, mainly because I do feel that you have very good cards here, but things from the past are what's troubling you on the emotional front, okay? So emotionally, just 
just scrap everything from your past and um, try to protect yourself. Try to um, not let other people's actions um, affect you. You can come to somebody's rescue so, you know, only so many times. So, you know, this is something that they're going to have to learn on their own and they're going to have to deal with on their own. Okay. So don't take on other people's burden. And if people don't see things, you know, eye to eye with you, you don't really have to defend yourself. Okay. You, you don't have to do it any longer, mainly because this person is unable to see the truth. Okay. So I'm feeling here that it is related to a water sign. Okay. So if you are in a relationship where, you know, you, you are in contact with a water sign and also like a fire sign too, because I'm sensing like water and fire with the, these cards, just be very careful, um, about manipulation, especially. Okay. Um, somebody might guilt trip you into trying to help them into, you know, Oh, I've changed my life around. I just need you to help me with this one thing. And it's like, no, don't do it. If it's at your expense, if it's at your um, financial resources, I do feel that you might be duped. And at the same time, I'm sensing here that, um, you know, once again, there have been multiple run-ins with this person and nothing good came out of it. So don't let yourself be willingly duped, okay? I, I feel at this point, enough clarity, enough insights um, have been reached where you can decide to just once and for all scrap that situation scrap that person from your life okay so just be very careful this month we do have good cards in general though so you know like i said this is something outside of yourself this is somebody else's problem that you're going to have to deal with and at the heart of it you are actually um getting a lot of good reception so what I am sensing here is to um, coming in very early at the beginning of the month, there's a little bit of a financial uh, drawback, okay? So we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is something that might have happened even like, you know, it could even be residual energy from as late as like the last week of June. I am doing this midnight on the um, the last day of June. So this is residual energy. So there's a little bit of a delay in financial payout. For those of you who are waiting for a settlement, who are waiting for um, some type of a financial payout, okay, there is going to be delay, but I do feel ultimately you are going to get this financial resource, this financial windfall that is promised to you. So don't worry about it because ultimately, Coming in later in this month, we have the Six of Wands, which indicates in general that you are going to get positive reception, accolades, um, the congratulations that you for a job well done. And in general, you are going to be propped up as the victor here. OK, so the financial payout itself, once again, it is going to be delayed, but all the other cards surrounding it indicates to me that you don't need to worry. OK, so the end of worries is uh, is greatly indicated. So you're not going to be troubled by it that much longer. So give it like a, um, the first week and this financial situation will pick up. OK, so don't worry about that too much. At the same time, what I am sensing here is um, there's a little bit of a cosmic um, lesson coming through. And the lesson here is about let me see. It's about taking action. I do feel it is about taking action because I know that, um, you know, as an earth sign, traditionally, this is basically having patience. You are very, very patient in this regard. Okay. And you are an earth sign. So I do feel that, um, coupled with the magician, these are two major arcana cards and, um, you know, one is on top of the other like this. So what I am getting here is that um, it's about taking action, okay? It's, it's about like um, taking up on opportunities or, you know, taking up opportunities that come and not being afraid and, and you know, don't second guess yourself, don't doubt yourself, don't doubt your ability to do something mainly because the financial resources aren't there. Or you might be a little concerned about your financial resources. So you don't undertake, you know, new projects, new opportunities, like even travel opportunities that might come in for you. OK, so there's a little bit of fear and hesitancy and a little bit of an energy of clinging on to past situations for financial security. But I would say that um, 
you are actually going to have a very good month, mainly on the work front and on the finance front. So don't don't get into that headspace where you're just thinking like, um, I don't know if I'm qualified for this new job. I don't know if I'm on the right track with this new career. I don't know if, you know, the, the, the people around me, especially work colleagues and supervisors and things like that, are receptive or, you know, are... Um, are open, are supportive of the way that I conduct business or the way that I do things. And uh, once again, they hired you on or that, you know, they are in alliance with you because they understand your capabilities. So don't get into that negative headspace where you're doubting your actions, you're doubting your capabilities, because more than anything, it is mental energy. And in the real world, it does show that you are going to have a lot of success here. So don't get into that, um, you know, morbid mode of thinking, okay, that pessimism and, you know, just um, losing your sense of perspective, okay, and once again, like I mentioned, um, on the work front, a lot of you might be in contact with like a fire sign, okay, it could also be like, um, like I mentioned, water and fire, fire elements here, but I do feel that more of you might be dealing with a fire sign on the work front, in which um, the fire sign might be a little bit restrictive as to how you know how how much leeway you can have with creative projects with your work environment they they might be a supervisor that um, that micromanage for example or they might be someone that puts a damper on um, new you know ideas that you might have and ways in which you can implement these ideas in the world okay so if that is a situation that you're dealing with just be very patient because um, there's a little bit almost of a jealousy coming through here from the other party and um, they're preventing you from moving forward. I I'm sensing here that um, it's not that they, they want you to fail or it's not that, you know, they, they, they are completely, um, they're, it's not that they're wishing you ill will. I do feel that they tried it in the past. And um, they were a little bit too hot-headed with the project, so they it, it 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 became a failure. Okay, so they're really hesitant about letting you try things your way, mainly because they're trying to prevent you from you know uh, ending up with the same failure that they did in the past. Okay, and that's not to say that um, there's anything bad about this fire sign. I don't feel that that way. But um, whatever you decided to do, just go ahead with it. Try to convince them that you are doing it in a different way. And I do feel ultimately your success with this new work endeavor is going to allow the other person, you know, to heal. At the same time, there is a little bit of jealousy, okay? So if this situation works out for you and it, it, it brings about like, you know, success, there is going to be like um, the aftermath, which is you're dealing with somebody else's jealousy and that's going to affect you on in the work front, okay? However, once again, I mentioned for this month, um, I do feel in general that um, Capricorns, you guys have a very good read on people. So, and you know, you, you, you don't really like, you, you don't really gossip about things. You don't really like... Um, call people out on what, when they're doing something wrong. I mean, you know, you always give people the benefit of the doubt, okay? But um, for this month, just really try to protect yourself and try to be around more positive people. Be around people who give you positive vibes, who boost you up, who help you, you know, restore your self-esteem, who, who mean well, you know, who just have a good heart. So just try to be around more positive people so that you don't um you're not affected by you know negative energy surging through and people who who might be a little bit envious of your success who might be like a little bit emotionally needy and and emotionally manipulative okay so just keep that in mind and um as for the financial situation it is going to turn around for you very very quickly the first week of the month so don't worry too much about it, okay? And um, we have also the Ten of Cups here, okay? And the Ten of Cups underneath this situation, and it's um, it's sort of like looking at the big picture, okay? It, it's sort of like 
financially, you might not have everything that you want. You might not be making enough, you know, money to the the same to the extent that you want. However, you can, you know, you actually really enjoy the simple things in life. You can get by with a lot less than other signs of the zodiac. I feel in general. And um, the things that really matter to you and the things that bring you emotional happiness and just um, emotional fulfillment are the intangible things. So this is, you know, once again, surround yourself with positive people, people who boost you up rather than, you know, the ones that tear you down. And you're going to come to this realization this month that, you know, honestly, life is too short to um, give people multiple chances. Life is too short to just, you know, um, go out and mingle with people who don't really like know what they want, who don't really have like a, a clear sense of direction of their life because you're kind of like getting caught, you're, you're, you're going to get caught up in their drama. Okay. So you're going to quickly realize this month. And I would say, you know, try to once again, if you are in situations in which other people are asking you constantly for help and, you know, it, it's still within your power. You still have the resources to help them. You still have the time to help them. But I do feel that in the process of interacting with, with these people and always coming to their rescue, you're enabling their, uh, in, you know, insufficiencies. So like, um, you're enabling that type of behavior, like that dependency, codependency type of behavior from other people. A lot of you are dealing with water signs who have boundary issues so if this is a situation and, you know, I keep mentioning this, that um, you don't really have boundary issues. It's the people that you're interacting with. So don't let people kind of invade your space. Okay, so maintain this little bubble. Maintain, you know, this sense of um, serenity by surrounding yourself with people who mean well, who care about you and who don't abuse you or take advantage of your goodwill. Okay. So that's just good advice for everybody in general, but I do feel that for you, um, you're very like open hearted and you, you're very like accepting. You're very accepting, you know, like, um, Pisces are very accepting as well. And, um, you and Pisces are, are just like two of the most accepting signs. And I feel like maybe because, you know, you're towards the end of the Zodiac. But I do feel here that it's going to be a little bit detrimental if you you keep enabling the other person, okay? So, yeah, it's time to release some old chains to cut down some old relationships that are not entirely positive, And it, it would be good for you. And I do feel that um, it's going to be a difficult process, okay? Because um, I do feel that some of you are very emotionally invested in situations. And you're hoping for a, a turnaround in the other person's uh, life or the other person's um, perspective. But I do feel that um, they're only going to change their ways of doing when, um, when they have to, okay? When people hit rock bottom, that's when they will kind of like reassess the things that um, that they, they've done and, you know, how their actions lead to certain, you know, consequences. So in this situation, unfortunately, people learn the hard way, okay? And um, once again, you know, I am a, a staunch believer that um, it does take like massive, massive karmic lessons for people to change. And even then, de depending on how evolved they are, they can change very little or a lot. And you, 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 honestly, you don't want to be caught up in other people's life lessons. So just try to extract yourself from people who have like unhealthy boundary issues, okay? If you are around somebody and you feel that they're draining you, you know, there are just some people that um, they have a lot of drama. They have a lot of like destabilizing energies in their life. And um, you have to separate whether or not it's just something that they're they're tied in with or whether it's their life choices that are creating all these um, dramas and all these upheavals in their life. Most of the time, people make wrong dis uh, choices in life. And as a result, they get into like a very stuck situation 
and they don't know where to turn, so they rely on somebody to you know pull themselves them out of it, rather than um, making the right choices to begin with, okay, or rather than turning their life around on their own. And when you know it's not to shame anybody because when you're in a very stuck place, it's difficult. It's emotionally um, destabilizing, and you're kind of like in panic mode. You don't really know where to turn. However, don't get stuck in other people's life lessons. Don't get caught up in it. Okay, let them try to um, find their way out. And I do feel that um, you know a little bit more of a hands-off approach in your intimate relationships, in your social interactions, is in order here. Okay, so take a very hands-off approach so that you don't get caught up in other people's life lessons. Okay. So like I mentioned, I am going to pull out two more cards just to see about this tower situation. Yeah, so once again, it is going to be a fire sign that that is um, bringing this about too, okay? So I'm sensing fire sign on the work front. It could also be in the romantic front because the tower is affecting two people, okay? And um, if you are dealing with a fire sign who is kind of, um, you know... Um, who's hot-headed, who doesn't really like um, reflect on their lives and who who just uh, goes by their hunches, I do feel that it is going to be problematic for uh, for them and then because you're emotionally invested in them or because you're in a work project, work situation with them, you're going to get like caught up in their lessons, okay? And um, we also have the Seven of Cups here in the reverse position so people are going to show you their true colors this month okay and that's never an easy thing to accept but I do feel that um, you're not going to have a choice this month you can't really like um, rationalize other people's behavior anymore you, you can't do that anymore and um, new information will come to light about fire signs and also water signs too, but I do feel that um, since I pulled out two cards to qualify what the tower refers to, a lot of you might be dealing with a fire sign. Um, I am sensing that it is going to be in the work environment. Um, yeah, so in the work environment, I do feel that um, people make false promises and they don't deliver, okay? And you're going to start to see their true colors. You're going to quickly realize where it is that you stand with them and how they feel about you. And it's sort of like you have to take off those rose-colored glasses and really see the reality of the situation. And um, towards the end of this month, I do feel that, you know, new insights, a lot of clarity about people, about people's motives, about people's intentions are going to be coming through. You're going to get through the situation just fine. I wouldn't um, worry about it too much, okay? But once again, it's just a matter of free will. And it's sort of like all this information is coming to light. Whatever you decide to do is still up to you. A lot of you are going to be scrapping old relationships, okay? okay? And it could even be like old um, friendships, old uh, work projects, old work partnerships. And I do feel more than anything, um, it is work-related. It's, it's sort of like people making promises on the work front that there they are going to, you know, that, that you are promised this financial windfall. They renege on the promises and then you're kind of like stuck and you don't really know what to do and I don't feel that it is going to have bearing on you on the uh, physical front because the financial situation is going to come through but the kind of like the weaselly way or the roundabout way in which other people are approaching this situation that's going to rub you the wrong way okay so you have ultimately the information about people what you choose to do about it how you want to um, proceed with them next time that's still up to you and I do feel there's a, a sense of like um, despite having you know 12 cards I do feel that a lot of you might still give the other person the benefit of the doubt might still partner up with the other person so once again your free will is going to override the situation but I would just advise you that um People don't change. So, you know, really try to assess what it is that's coming through, especially sift through the information about other people's motives 
and find out why you would want to put yourself in situations where people have ulterior motives, where people are not upfront, where people are like um, flaky or they renege on their promises, okay? So um, in general, I do hope that um, this month, just be patient with the money situation and figure out who it is that's worth keeping in your life more than anything, okay? Um, success is coming in for you on the work front. So focus on that. Let that be the main, um, I guess, like, let that be the main focus for this month and then let the emotional situation subside for you. I don't feel it is going to affect you greatly, mainly because you're not surprised by it, okay? And the fact that you're not entirely surprised by it, I do feel that it's because you've held on to these people for a little bit uh, too long, okay? way past the expiration date. So relationships have run their course. It is important for you to start the filtering out process and to cut away old ties, okay? Old bonds, old ties, because ultimately it is going to be better for you so that you can move forward with your life, even on the love front and on the work front, because new projects are coming in for you too. Other people are going to want to offer you uh, opportunities. I feel like left and right, there are going to be like a lot of opportunities on the work front, on the romance front. So you're kind of, um, you're, you're not at a loss for anything, okay? So it is really important to just go with the new. Go with the new and just leave the old things behind, all right? 